Den 25. maj stemmer Danmark om den fælles patentdomstol, og Europa må betegnes som opfindernes kontinent. Hvert år tager europæiske opfindere og selskaber patent på ca. 30.000 nye opfindelser. Det er mere end i USA, Kina og Sydkorea til sammen. Mød nogle af dem i serien Fascinerende opfindelser. It makes us feel good, warms us up and provides an infinite amount of energy. Long considered too expensive and inefficient, solar power is now an integral part of our energy supply. For making photovoltaic affordable to everyone, as well as for some of the most important research into this technology, we can thank this man, Dr. Jörg Horzel. Quite early it was clear to me that renewable energy could play a critical role in actively protecting against climate change. Photovoltaic in particular has considerable potential because the sun provides many times more energy than is required. But what is the best way to harness the natural power of the sun? To find out, in 1994 this German physicist began his search for partners who shared his vision. He found them in Belgium, the Interuniversity Microelectronic Center, IMEC, one of the largest research institutes in the world. At that time, industrial solar cell production was still in its infancy. But the former photovoltaic group leader, Johan Nuss, had big plans. For his research project, he was able to win some of the best solar experts in Europe, Mia Honoré, Josef Slufczyk, and Jörg Horzel. In those days, of course, solar cells were still too expensive. There was no market for it. But we worked very hard. We developed ideas, bright ideas, in order to increase the efficiency of the solar cells and therefore to lower the cost. To manufacture solar cells, phosphorus is melted into a silicon layer, which experts refer to as doping. This process creates the conditions for the conversion of sunlight into energy. Jörg Horzel has sped up and perfected this very time-consuming process that once had to be carried out in several steps. This is made possible by solar cells with selectively doped regions. We have invented a selective emitter process, which in a single step forms lightly doped and heavily doped areas next to each other. Since the process can be performed in one step, the process costs can be reduced and the efficiency can be increased. A breakthrough in the production of industrial solar cells. Twenty years later, a large proportion of the world's solar cells are produced according to the example of this method. For their pioneering work on renewables, Jörg Horzel and his co-inventors have been nominated for the European Inventor Award 2013 in the category Research. For this visionary, this is however no time to bask in the light of his nomination. In the last two decades, we've seen a growth of more than 1,000 times. If we truly aspire to have a large proportion of total energy production from solar power, we will need two or three more magnitudes of growth. The solar panels in his hometown of Karlsruhe has exactly the right shape. It resembles a European Inventor Award, which will be given out in Amsterdam on May the 28th. Whether he wins or not doesn't matter. The triumphant success of photovoltaic is unstoppable. Jörg Horzel has made an important contribution to making solar power accessible to everyone. Programmet vises med støtte fra Europa-nævnet.